Hey everybody, it's Stu. And Edie. We are with the Little House of Beans. Today, we're going to put one Omnia oven against the other, but that's not the test. The test is the silicone insert. We're making noise. Versus, and this is a new product, the pan that is lined, which means you don't need the silicone. So we're going to cook the exact same thing. What are we making today? We are making quiche. And I will put equal amounts of liquid batter in each, one in the silicone and one in the nonstick pan. 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 Yeah. Um, and we will see what happens. Yeah. And then we're going to leave our thoughts at the end. Oh, also, uh, at the end of the video, Edie will, because uh, we're going to cook everything, but we still have to clean up. And we do want to make a comment about if there's a difference between cleaning this up versus the silicone insert. So that'll be at the end of the video. Uh, this is a new product, and we'll leave our thoughts. We'll see if they cook any different from the silicone. Uh, I will also put links in the description below, uh, not just for this, but if you noticed, I also have a case which the Omnia folks did send to us, and uh, I'll put the link if you're interested in that in this case. What's rather, this made out of? I don't know what it's made out of, uh, rather than the bag, which is what the Omnia comes with. So I'll put the links uh, in the description below for for this as well as the case. And as always, our videos always have links to the Omnia oven and all the accessories and so on and so forth. So. Uh, if you're interested, give us a thumbs up. If you're interested, hit subscribe. If you're interested, watch the video. <laughs> if you're interested, you could just stare at the beautiful eating. I'm interested in having quiche for breakfast. Yes. So I'm ready to cook. I'm ready to cook. And eat. And eat. Say it. <laughs> Let's get cooking. So Edie has asked me to preheat both of these, which I am doing now. Uh, and this one is the pan with the silicone in, you know, baked in. I don't know what the liner, whatever. And in this one, we actually have the silicone inside. So we're preheating uh, as best we can. I don't know how accurate these are, but generally speaking, these uh, there's no other differences here. I have the flames uh, as close to the same as possible. And uh, so right now we're in a preheating process and uh, we will measure and pour uh, shortly. So one other thing that I did notice is that, uh, first of all, this is not as scientific as it probably could be, but I did notice that this guy, which has a different thermometer, is preheating faster than this guy. So we're going to do our best. Obviously it's not going to be a perfect test, but we're going to do our best to try to make these as equal as possible. So I'm measuring out equal amounts of quiche batter, I guess, for each Omnia. One with the silicone and one with the non-stick pan. And Edie, what's actually in your quiche? Uh, I'm glad you asked. Uh, <laughs> eggs, milk, onions, bacon, salt, and pepper. Um, of course, you could use anything you have in your veggie drawer, in your fridge. Um, this is what I just happen to have available. Okay, and we did not uh, spray or butter the liners, either one of them. Correct. And these are both sitting at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, if we're to trust either monitor, right. either thermometer. And uh, I need to open them up a couple of times just to measure them accurately, because this doesn't hold more than two cups. Okay. So, let's do this. So that's the first. And let's measure another two cups. Ish.
and I have a little bit left, I will split them amongst the two. Right? No need to waste. You like those little uh, hand things? I do. It reminds me of a puppet show. Uh, for fun, I can put the links in the description below for these little hand doodads. Doodah, doodah. Okay, Edie, how long should we expect these to cook for? I am thinking half an hour-ish. Of course, I will let you know how long they baked for and at what temperature, relatively. And okay. they are baking. All right, I'll set a timer. Cool. See you in a bit. So our quiches are ready and they came out beautiful. It took about 50 minutes, uh, roughly at 225 Fahrenheit they cooked. And I will show you them. This one came out in the non-stick pan. And this one was our silicone pan. Okay, so I'm taking them to flip over. We never film the flip. We never film the flip. This is the flip. And then I will flip them over once again. So they came out great on the bottom of the pan, nonstick pan. Oh, not burnt either. Nope, not burnt. Low and slow, baby. Magic. Voila. Okay, this is nonstick pan. Came out easy and perfect. Okay, let's do the other one. All right, now let's do the other one. Let me just quickly put my mitts on. Yeah. Also came out easy and great. Came out nice on the bottom as well. Let me do my flip. So this is the silicone pan. Silicone, non-stick. This non -stick. is the non-stick. So what do we notice? First of all, the bottom of this was a little lighter, a than, little lighter. than this one, but yeah. neither, neither was burnt. No, but I don't know if that's accurate as well, because you know, what if the temperature was a little, uh, you know, we tried to make even as even cooking as possible, right. but I don't think that is something that should be that noticeable, you know, no. that... Um, the only thing I notice, Edie, is yeah. that this is a better shape. <laughs> it's, it's a rounder shape than this. I mean, you use you the know, exact same amount of egg. Yeah, the exact same amount, but but uh, I really think it's, it's the same. Okay. It, it came out the same. They work the same. They are both great, no matter which one you pick or buy or decide to cook with. Um, I like both. And I'm going to um, wash both, and they will wash exactly the same. They came out great. No, nothing stuck to, to any of them. So cleanup will be the okay. same. Okay. So do I have a preference, either or? No, not really. <laughs> no, I think I would say that if you already own an Omnia, you, chances are you have the silicone, there, unless you're buying another one, maybe you want this. But if you already have an Omnia oven, I think that uh, you probably yeah. already have the silicone and there's no reason to buy this. Now, if you don't have an Omnia oven, perhaps you consider getting this pan and no silicone. Right. And then you'll have two pans, one you could use for savory and then one you could use for sweet. You could do it that way or you could mix and match. Either way, they work. They seem to work exactly the same. They're Do you want to cut into these? I'm starving. Sure. All right. Let's cut into them. Yeah. So this one is the silicone. Okay. We'll just cut into them and. Yep. The silicone. I don't think there's any difference. No, not at all. They both came out great. Like I said. They're cooked inside. Yeah. It's the first day with the new hands here. Okay. And then silicone. You'll cut and, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Let me come around. I think there is a difference. Can I borrow that fork? Sure. I think. So if we look at the the edges of that one versus the edges of this one, they're 
No, they're the same. No, they're the same. It's just the the piece I cut or, yeah, it's it's the same, darling. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah. so there you have it. Uh, the nice part about this is you have choices, and that's what Omnia, the folks at Omnia are giving you choices. And uh, what more could you ask for? Yeah, great hey, product. You, all right, so can you go on camera? Can I flip this around? Yeah, of course you can. We had so, a wardrobe change. <laughs> So that's the end of the video. Uh, if this is the kind of content you like, or you enjoy uh, uh, Edie's recipes, show us a little love, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have and you continue to watch, thank you so much. And uh, we will see you on the next video. I'm Stu. And I'm Edie. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.